so I've been, uh, you know, uh, doing well. Uh, doing well, working hard, making it, and best, you know, blessed with um, my everyday lives. Our everyday lives has been great until the COVID-19 uh, happened. I've been doing my part as a citizen, paying my tax, <laughs> um, working, and I, I must say it, it's it's been a blessed year for us um, until this happened. Hi, my name is Lily, and I've been supported by the Community Action Partnership of Orange County. The pandemic is obviously just just didn't affect me. It affected the whole world. It affected me huge financial crisis affected my children because of the school everything has been kind of a big change a big experience it's very sad it's very sad that it's happening it's still impacting a lot of people I, it's still impacting me i've been working since i was 16 years old and this is the first time i have applied for unemployment just even filing an employment is hard enough and you don't know if you're doing it correctly when I actually got referred to Marisa, Marisa, and then Marisa referred me to Maria from Capital C, and that's when I reached out for help for um, <laughs> what kind of resources do you provide when it comes to homeowners and um, other financial help. The pandemic has affected um, mostly the low-income families in the different communities that we work with. Capo C has been able to assist them in navigating resources throughout our partnerships through other agencies and we're able to leverage some funding to assist these families either through emergency food or emergency diapers, um, rental assistance, utility assistance, and also providing them with the support they might need if they're going through stress and anxiety that the pandemic has caused. I must say Capo C um, was easier to reach, easier to communicate because I did reach out to other resources. I didn't even got a call back. I did not even get anybody calling me or telling me what I need to do. But Capo C, right away, they reached out to me they guided me, they uh, told me what kind of resources that are available. So it made it my life easier. Um, one of the biggest challenges we had is that we had, you know, a part of our community that we call the newly vulnerable. These are individuals who lost their jobs, who, you know, lost their way in some, in some respects, who were now hungry. We had children who were getting a free lunch at, at school but now schools were closed. So we have mothers and single moms who are out there who needed diapers um, for their children. Part of our mission is how do we be there for families when they need it, at the time that they need it. And I think that's pretty powerful to be able to, during a crisis, during a tough moment, during temporary status of whatever you're going through in your life, for an organization to be able to, to wrap their arms around you um, and really support you through that process. Greetings, my name is Gregory Scott, Chief Executive Officer for Community Action Partnership of Orange County. The overarching mission of the agency is more than just a mission. I consider it a movement, a movement that started during the Civil Rights Movement, a call to action to the presidency of Lyndon Johnson um, to eradicate poverty throughout the country. Um, we saw the, a, a great disparity among many communities in this country. And this was the response um, during, during that time period. Now, we never imagined that we would distribute that quantity of food that we did during COVID. Uh, 2019 had been a record year for us. During 2019, we distributed 23 million pounds of food. We thought that was a huge effort. And then during COVID in 2020, we distributed 63 million pounds of food. Yeah, I've been with the food bank for over 30 years. And if you'd asked me if we had the, the capacity, the room, the equipment, the staff to be able to do that, I would have said it was impossible. You know, but our team band together with a lot of community support and we're able to respond to the needs of the community during the COVID crisis. My name is Mark Lowry. I work for the Orange County Food Bank, a program of the Community Action Partnership of Orange County. Every aspect of the operation of the food bank had to change during the COVID response. Um, where we received our food, how we distributed that food, and, and how we engaged volunteers in helping distribute that food. You know, there were not large groups of volunteers that were able to come in during COVID, so we tapped into resources like the California Conservation Corps and the National Guard to provide labor to perform our work during COVID. 
There was no surplus food available during COVID. The food supply in America was greatly strained. And we had a greater demand for food assistance than in the lifetime of, and of any of us. So we had to rely largely on generous donors who donated dollars for us to be able to purchase food. We had to distribute food in a way that was safe and, and minimized any sort of human contact. So the drive-through food distribution uh, with long lines of cars waiting to receive boxes of food became the necessary model during COVID. It's also about connecting and having powerful partnerships with other organizations who are doing major, major work in our communities. And we really believe that we can end poverty for families within two generations. We can really change the trajectory of the families with a focus on young people, a focus on seniors, a focus on the, the adults that are in the home. Our organization is nimble enough, is creative enough to really be in a position where we can really look at our programs, look at our partnerships, and find ways where we can create this path forward. Um, my hope for the holiday season, and this is coming from my heart, it's not just for me. Um, forward, peace uh, for everyone. It, that's my wish, at least for my holiday. Get through this, all of us, and um, help each other and support each other. And, um, because you just never know when it's gonna happen to you. I'd like to thank this opportunity to thank the Capital C and all the people that are involved with this program. I would like to thank the Maria, Marisa, and um, thank you for all the support and guidance and this time of needs. Uh, my family and I appreciate you. Thank you.